Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at the last question of exercise 12.2, which is sum number 9 of chapter 12, Heron's formula. Here you have trapezium ABCD, wherein side AB is parallel to side DC and the dimensions are given here. As marked, I need to find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD or area of trapezium ABCD. So how do I find the area? Now if you notice, I have AB parallel to DC. If I take a point E, on DC such that BE is parallel to AD. So let's do this construction. I'll do it with a yellow chalk. So if I take this point E such that BE is parallel to AD, what do I get? I get ABED to be a parallelogram. Therefore, my trapezium is now made up of two parts. Which two parts? One is parallelogram ABED and one is triangle BEC. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and find the area of these two regions. But now to find the area of these two re regions, we need the dimensions. So how do we find the dimensions? Here you have the ABED to be a parallelogram, right? What do we know about a parallelogram? That the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Therefore, AD is parallel to BE and AD is also equal to BE. So I get AD as 13 meters, 13 meters and BE also equal to 13 meters and also I have AB and DE parallel and equal to each other. Therefore, DE will be, this entire length will be 10 meters. Now this entire length is 25, therefore EC will be 25 minus 10 which is 50. Now we have all the dimensions, we can go ahead and find the area of triangle BEC using Heron's formula. So once you have the area of triangle BEC, we need to find the area of parallelogram. But what is the area of parallelogram? Base into height. We have been given the base, but we have not been given the height. So how do we find the height? We will find the height by drawing a perpendicular B, let's say, so I will mark this 2, by drawing a perpendicular B O on E C. So I'll mark this as O. Now B, the triangle and the parallelogram lie between the same base and between the same parallels, therefore they're going to have an equal height. We have the area and we have the base, we can find the height B O. That will be the same height for your parallelogram. So we will have the base as well as the height. So we can go ahead and find the area of parallelogram. Then we will add the areas of region 1 and 2 and we will get the area of trapezium A B C D. But now let's get started with the with writing the solution along with the constructions that we did. So I'll say solution. Draw B E parallel to A D such that D E C such that E lies on the line segment D C. Also now B E is parallel to A D through construction and A B is parallel to D E. Why A B is parallel to D E? Because A B is parallel to D C and E lies on the line segment D C. Therefore A B is parallel to D E. Therefore quadrilateral A B E D is a parallelogram. Right? Therefore AB is equal to DE which is equal to 10 centimeters and AB is parallel to DE. Similarly I have AD is equal to BE which is equal to 13 centim this would be meters 13 meters and AD is parallel to BE. So let's just check AB, DE and AD, BE. So AB, DE and AD, BE. Okay. Therefore, the trapezium, okay, also, therefore, the trapezium is made up of two regions A your parallelogram 
A B E D and B your triangle B E C right also what do you have you have E C is equal to D C minus D E so D C is how much it is 25 and D E is how much 10 so this is going to be 15 meters therefore E C is equal to 15 meters therefore let's take a look at our triangle which triangle are we going to take a look at B E C this side is going to be B this is going to be E and this is going to be C because they are the sides opposite of uh, respective vertices therefore now you have this side EC as 15 this side has been given to be 14 and this side has been found through construction to be 13 right so we have the dimensions of this triangle we can find its area so let's first find the semi perimeter so I'll say semi perimeter of triangle BEC is equal to B plus E plus C divided by 2. So how much is B? B is 15 plus E, E is 14 plus C which is 13 divided by 2. So 15 plus 14 plus 13. 9, 10, 12 and 42. So this is going to be 42 divided by 2 which is equal to so 42 divided by 2. Therefore semi perimeter of triangle BEC is equal to 21 meters. Now we can easily go ahead and find the area of triangle BEC using Heron's formula. Therefore I will say area of triangle BEC is equal to under root of S into S minus B into S minus E into S minus C. So your semi perimeter is 21 into 21 minus 15 into 21 minus 14 into 21 minus 13. Right? This is going to be equal to 21 comes down as it is. 21 minus 15 is 6. 21 minus 14 is 7. And 21 minus 13 is 8. So let's go ahead and find the square root. So this is going to be 7 3s are 21. 3 2s are 6. Then 7 and 4 2s are 8. So I have two 7s. One 7 will come outside as the square root. Again, I have two threes, so one of the threes will come out. And I have two twos, one of the twos will come out. And four is a perfect square of number two. Therefore, the square root of four will come out, which is two. So two twos are four, four threes are 12, 12 sevens are 84. This is going to be 84 meters square, which is your area of triangle BEC. Right? Let's mark this as one. Roman number one, because it's a part of your trapezium A, B, C, D. Therefore, now area of triangle B, E, C is also equal to half into base into height, right? Which is equal to half, which is equal to half into base. What is the base? It is E, C. Into height, I'll say B, O. So BO, we will say we constructed BO perpendicular to DC such that DOC, that means O lies on the line segment DC, okay. So now this will become 84 is equal to half into base EC. EC is how much? 50. And height is what we need to find. So BO. Right? Therefore, I have BO is equal to 84 into 2 
divide by 15. So 3 5s are 15, 3 2s are 6, 3 8s are 24. 28 into 2 is 56 divided by 5. So this is BO which is equal to height of triangle BEC which is equal to 56 upon 5 meters. Now I'm going to say that triangle BEC and parallelogram ABED lie on the same base and between the same parallels. Therefore, they will have equal heights. And then I will use this height as the reference to find the area of my parallelogram. So I'm going to erase this section of the board. Let's mark this as small one. Do not use the line wherein I said that triangle BEC and parallelogram ABED lie uh, on the same base and between common parallels. I'm revising that line. So, we have the height BO. What we're going to use is that triangle BEC, uh, triangle BEC and ABED, the parallelogram, lie between common parallels. Therefore, they are going to have equal height. Therefore, I'm going to use this height BO for parallelogram ABED to find the area of my parallelogram. So I'll say now triangle BEC and parallelogram ABED lie on lie between common parallels. So which are the common parallels AB and DC? Therefore they, ha they have equal heights. That is BO which is equal to 56 upon 5 meters. Now therefore area of parallelogram ABED is equal to base into height. So base is what? It's going to be DE into height BO. So DE is how much? DE is 10 and height is 56 upon 5. So 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 12. Now 56 into 2 will give me 2 6 are 12, 2 5 is 10, 11. So 102 meters square. This is your area of parallelogram ABED. Let's mark this as Roman number 2. Therefore, area of trapezium ABCD is area of trapezium ABCD is equal to area of parallelogram ABED plus area of triangle BEC. Right? So, area of triangle ABED is 112 and area of triangle BEC is 84. So this is going to be 6, 9, 196 meters square. And here I will say from Roman numbers 2 and 1. Therefore, I will say answer area of trapezium A, B, C, D is equal to 196 meters square. So please take a look at the solution. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win ePartshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.